Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. I also shared today's video tutorial on the Pink Fresh Studio YouTube channel, so if it looks familiar, you may have seen it there. Today I am sharing a holiday themed acetate overlay card. I thought this was such a fun idea, especially featuring this Holiday City View stamp, which I haven't had a chance to use yet. And so I'm busting that out along with the coordinating stencils and this beautiful holiday color palette. I'm also going to be using the Snowflakes background stamp and the Thrill of Hope. And I have to tell you, I apologize because I did not realize that Thrill of Hope has been discontinued and it kind of breaks my heart a little. <laughs> But if you have that in your stash, then you can pull that out. Otherwise, you just replace the sentiment and you're good to go. So I'm starting out by creating a white card base here. I've cut it just to an A2 size card base and scored that. But I am going to take that and just trim that down to about three and three quarters inches wide. So it's five and a half inches tall, three and three quarter inches wide. Now, because I'm doing an acetate overlay, I'm also going to need a backer piece for my card. So I'm going to cut just a plain old piece of white cardstock to three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. Now I have a piece of heat resistant acetate. This particular brand is Crafter's Companion. There are some other great ones out on the market, but I'm just basically making an A2 size card base out of this as well. So I've cut it to five and a half by eight and a half inches, and I'm scoring this at four and a quarter. And this is going to create my side folding A2 size portrait card. So just your standard card base, but this time I'm making it out of some acetate. Now acetate takes a little bit to score, so put some muscle into it and make sure you crease that fold really well with a bone folder. So now I have an A2 size card base created from some heat resistant acetate. I have my white card base cut to three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. And I have that backer panel, which is also cut to three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. Now I'm going to use my Misty stamping tool to stamp this Holiday City View stamp onto this white card base. I am going to place a Misty sticky mat in my Misty to hold that in place. And you'll notice that I did remove the foam pad from my Misty stamping tool because this is a cling mount rubber stamp. It has all of the dimension that I need without using that foam pad that comes in the Misty. So just pull that out and then you can stamp as normal in the Misty. Now I have mounted that stamp to my Misty lid or cover or front, whatever you wanna say. <laughs> and I placed my card base onto the stamp. I made sure that my fold was in the right place because I have a tendency to mess those things up. <laughs> and then I closed the Misty so that my card was picked up by the sticky mat. I stamped this Holiday City View onto that card base using some Versamark ink, and now I am taking that off of the sticky mat and adding some alabaster white embossing powder, and I'm gonna knock off the excess, and then I'm gonna heat set that. Now I am going to use all five coordinating stencils for this Holiday City View stamp to give it some color, but I am going to use a Misty Sticky Mat to hold my stencils and my card base in place because I do have this cut down a little bit smaller than a standard A2 size card front, which you would normally use. So I'm not gonna show you all of the stenciling today. I'm just lining up these stencils and moving through them. For stencil number one, I used Coral Reef Ink. For stencil number two, I used Emerald City. For the third stencil, I'm using Candy Apple. And then I am going to move on to Tidal Pond. And for my final stencil, I used Passion Fruit. Now, I love this color combination for the holidays. And once I kind of removed this fifth stencil, I really felt like the coral reef needed a little more oomph next to all of these other colors. So I replaced stencil number one right back over my card front and then just added a little more intensity toward the bottom of this. And look at that beautiful Holiday City view. So now I am going to work on the acetate overlay and I'm just using a little removable tape to hold that card base closed just like I did with the white card base. I'm placing this into my Misty Stamping Tool 
positioning my snowflake background stamp over that card base and then I'm prepping this really generously with some powder tool. When you're stamping on acetate, you just can't have enough powder tool in my opinion. <laughs> So then I went ahead and inked that up with some Versamark ink and I stamped that onto that acetate card that I created. Now when I pull this off of the misty sticky mat that was in my misty while I was stamping, I'm going to be careful not to touch too much of the front because I don't want to create places where embossing powder might stick where the oils of my hand were. And when I pour on the embossing powder, I'm gonna be really careful to keep it just to the front of this acetate. I don't want any to get on the back. I knocked off the excess and now I'm heat setting that. But look at how I'm doing this. I am heating and then pulling my heat tool away just in short bursts. And it does take a little while longer to heat emboss like this, but it really minimizes the warping, especially on this acetate. Now I can wipe away the excess powder tool with my microfiber cloth, and I have all of the pieces ready for my acetate overlay card, but I'm going to add just a little bit of embellishment to this. So I grabbed this leafy circle die from the Pink Fresh Studio line, and I die cut it from some green cardstock, and now I'm also going to die cut it from this really beautiful warm silver glitter cardstock. So I have a couple of those wreaths that I can layer up. And you can see I also have my foiled sentiment from the Thrill of Hope set, as well as a sub sentiment that I heat embossed onto some blush colored cardstock. Now to the back of this back panel that I created, the plain white one, I am adding some score tape, some really sticky tape for this because you're going to be adhering to the acetate. And then to the back of this card base that I created with the city view on it, I also added that score tape. And then I removed the backer and placed this card right in the middle of the acetate card. So I have that centered up in the center of that acetate card. Now I can remove the backer from the score tape that's on my back panel and place that on the back to hide the adhesive that's holding the card base in place inside of the acetate card. So now I have the entire card put together as far as just the card is concerned, but we're gonna embellish. So I have taken some liquid glue and I'm adhering my two leafy circles together, just kind of offset. And then I'm adding the sentiment, this hot foil sentiment right in the center using some more liquid glue. And yes, I did have a little bit of an outfit change there. <laughs> I think I had ran some errands and I changed my clothes and I came back to it after I was done. And then once again, using a little more liquid glue on this little cluster here to add it to my acetate card. Now I used very little glue, just enough to hold this in place. And then I'm going to add some blocks over the top to add some pressure while that sets up. And because I used a glue that dries clear, I didn't worry about disguising the backside on the inside of this acetate, but you could Definitely cut another wreath piece to kind of hide that, but honestly, you couldn't really see the adhesive once it dried. Now, I finished my card off with some champagne glitter drops from Pink Fresh Studio because y'all know that glitter is my favorite, <laughs> and that champagne color just stole my heart. And that is the finished card, so it has this really cool acetate overlay. I think it's a fun way to use the snowflake background in conjunction with that holiday city view. And it's a very simple card to put together. And keep in mind, you could just change up the stamps and the colors and create this type of card year round as just a fun alternative. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure to check there. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on this YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the paper crafting and card making video tutorials shared here. And if you loved this video, I would love it if you would share it with a friend as well. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. You know, if you've made it this far, you are one of my favorites. <laughs>
to subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click the button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.